All right. All right, we've got you back this noon. Halloween, of course, just a, a few days away now. Many families will be getting ready this weekend, and you'll want to keep safety in mind. News 8's Brian Spiros has our story. Monday night, this will be the scene in neighborhoods across Connecticut as families send their kids out to trick or treat. We want to make sure that they practice safety steps to make sure their, their kids go out safe and they come home safe. Gary McNamara, police chief in Fairfield, with some important safety reminders for everyone. Travel in groups is always safe. We want to make sure that they supervise their children while going through the neighborhoods. The quest for candy set to begin as many people are driving home from work. That means there will be a lot of kids and cars on the roads at the same time. Don't drive distracted. Put your lights on. And above all else, slow down. Anyone crossing the street should do so in a designated area or a place that's well lit. Flashlights, glow sticks, and reflectors will help make kids more visible. And make sure those costumes aren't posing a problem as well. Well, this is a typical face mask. Uh, there are a variety of other ones, and what we see from it is it really does restrict the, the vision. It does restrict your child's vision. Connecticut State Police also recommend you check the state sex offender registry and plan your route accordingly. Make sure your kids know never to go into someone's house or car for candy. When it comes to handing out candy, if you don't want trick-or-treaters, make sure you leave your outside lights off. But if you do want them to stop on by, the front of your house should be lit and, of course, your sidewalks clear. Reporting from Hamden, Brian Spiros, News 8.